Could Willie Collum be Rangers' big summer signing in the transfer window? Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. And Willie Collum, once again, is coming under criticism for, let's say, awarding controversial decisions to Rangers. Is it fair to say that Willie Collum is the Rangers 12th man? Maybe, because we go back to the weekend when Rangers defeated Kilmarnock 3-1 at Ibrox. And Willie Collum gave a penalty that is, and I know sometimes there's a lot of penalties that I think are soft, and that's fair enough, but this one was bizarre. First of all, he he gives the penalty, and then he, he comes over and he looks at the screen. So if there's no VAR and he gives the penalty, I mean, that's fine, because let's be honest, the ball's whipped in. It's happening. He doesn't have a good angle of it. He can't even see it. So technically, I don't know how he could give a penalty because he doesn't get a feeling of what's happened. But let's be real. The ball hits uh, Abelusu on the chest. Clearly hits him on the chest. But from the referee's angle, he can't really see it. So you know what? Fair enough. But he gets called over to the VAR monitor where he watches it several fucking times. And he must see the ball hit the player on the chest. And then it's at this... It's at this um, stage where he, he awards the penalty, man. It's, it's bizarre. It's unbelievable. And former referee uh, and football association official, or whatever he's called, uh, Dermot Gallagher, he was on Sky Sports. He was talking about this. He said he was left scratching his head over the VAR penalty that was awarded to Rangers. He, he says that Willie Collum should rightfully come under um, you know, criticism for this because... Honestly, man, I just don't see how he gave this. This is what, uh, this is what Dermot Gallagher said on Sky Sports. Quote, well, the referee clearly can't see where it struck him. Only VAR can when it shows it from behind the goal. My only, su my only surprise is when the referee sees this, I just don't know where it hits him on the hand. I wasn't surprised he went to the screen. He couldn't possibly see anything. But when he goes to the screen, he retains all options. He doesn't have to give a penalty like the people think once called over, end of quote. So, again, yeah, if he, if he gave this and there's no VAR, then I guess you could say, well, it's one of those things that he's got it wrong. But the fact that he goes to VAR and he sees the footage and still gives the penalty, man, unfucking believable Derek McKins wasn't happy after the game. Um, he says that, come on, it was hard done by. And he thinks not only um, should that not have been a penalty, but Kilmarnock should have had their own penalty in the second half in an incident revolving Alan McGregor and Rory McKenzie. I haven't seen that one, didn't see that, so I can't comment, but the penalty that Rangers were given was an absolute joke, man. I cannot believe that's... And I know we, but Chris Boyd, will, will, he'll talk about soft-boiled eggs, hard-boiled eggs. I think, honestly, a lot of the penalties the old firm get are soft. But come on, they're, they're soft and then there's just a non-existent fucking egg. This egg hadn't even come out the chicken's arse yet and he's given a penalty, man. So I, I, I could not believe it, man. It, for me, absolutely shocking decision to give a penalty here. And would it affect the game? Probably not, because let's be honest, Rangers would have won anyway. Come on, it were absolute dog shit in the first half. And I believe Rangers win this game with or without that penalty, but, I mean, Jesus Christ, you pay money to bring in VAR, and we're getting decisions like this wrong. And I watched CJ Noble's said, and he says, you know what, it's unlucky, but by the letter of the law, it's a penalty, because it strikes his hand. Like, what the hell was he watching, man? It clearly hit his chest. Please take your blue blinkers off, CJ Nova. I used to enjoy watching your feds, but I feel like lately, over the past, like, maybe year, two years, you've almost become desperate with the amount of things you, you want to give Rangers' way. Even, like, a few weeks ago, said it was clearly, you know, a horror tackle by Nicky Clark, and it was clearly a red card, even though everybody knew it wasn't a red card. It wasn't even a fucking tackle, man. And, and, and the red card got rescinded here, so, yeah, I'm not quite sure, but, I mean, Sure, I don't know how any Rangers fan can say this was a penalty. So let me know in the comments below, man. Brother's a Rangers fan, and, and he says definitely not a penalty. He's watched it multiple times, and he doesn't understand how a penalty could be given. I think most people would look at this and not see a penalty, but CJ Novo says by the letter of the law, this is a penalty. Why? Because it hit the guy in the fucking chest? I mean, what the hell? I mean, what is this?
Honestly, unbelievable. Anyway, there you go, guys. Penalty shouldn't have been awarded. Willie well, well, Collum sucks, man, honestly. He must be the worst referee in Scotland. And I don't want to criticise or, you know, slabber about referees or whatever, man. But this guy is shy. I, I don't think he should referee games anymore. I don't know if he's a Rangers fan or whatever, but any time I watch games with Rangers, he always seems to favour them. And, you know, he got two... Arguably, too. I'm not. I can't comment on the the Kilmarnock so-called penalty, but a lot of people are saying it should have been a penalty. Uh, they've reviewed it. Sky Sports said it should have been a penalty. Now I, I haven't seen it. That's just what they're saying. But honestly, the Rangers won never in a million years was that a penalty. Willie, Willie Collum somehow gave it after looking at the VAR. I just don't get it, man. Honestly, people some, sometimes people will throw the word corruption around in Scottish football, and you think you you kind of laugh at them, and you go, ah, you know what, you you're obsessed, like you're delusional, you're this, you're that. But when you see decisions like this, you can kind of understand where that word comes from because this was pretty close to corruption, man. Let's be honest, man. Ball hits him on the chest, clear as day, with the, the replay from behind the goal. But Wally Collum, you know, gives the penalty. Unbelievable, guys. That's it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Was it a penalty? Was it not a penalty? I'll catch you later. But until then, till next time, peace.